First evening out together. Uh, these are the same flowers I brought you that night. Then you don't remember anything about our anniversary. I remember like it was yesterday. I had just purchased a new suit for the occasion, and I stopped by a flower vendor, an older woman who seemed down on her luck. That's when I bought your flowers. I gave her a big tip. She said it was too much, but I insisted. Hey, you're welcome. The woman was so grateful. Help! Somebody help me, please! I was on my way to meet you when I stopped oh, the help a damsel in distress. Oh! <coughs> Back, you swabs. This dance is mine. No! Go, Bruiser! Look at those moves. My turn, my turn. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Closing time at the back alley dance hall, Bruiser. Well, look what we got here. Some sort of fancy Dan. The name's not Dan. It's... Heathcliff! <laughs> and there's five more where that came from. And now I'm off to see a very special lady. What a lucky lady she must be. Wait, Sonia! What's wrong? That's sure not the way I remember it. First of all, you didn't buy me those flowers. The sign says don't pick the flowers. And that means you. Are those for me? Well? Uh, yeah, I, uh, I think so. Too bad. That was the wrong answer. He's all yours, bruiser baby. <laughs> Funny thing about women, just when you think you understand them, something like this happens. Huh? Okay, maybe I exaggerated a little, but your story wasn't even close. And I suppose you're gonna tell me we didn't have an elegant dinner that night? Dinner? I can't believe you don't remember the food, the service, the atmosphere. Monsieur Heathcliff, Mademoiselle Sonia, I am so happy you have arrived. S'il vous plaît, should you desire anything, just tinkle the bell. Didn't I tell you this night would be magical? Say, uh, how about something to drink?
I have the feeling that this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship. That's not the way it was. Well then, what's your version? Well, for one thing, we were less than welcome guests. <laughs> And the next time I catch you two in here, I'll sell you as catfish! He's quite a kidder, isn't he? Will you please take me home now? Are you kidding? I promised you dinner, and dinner you're gonna have. <coughs> Madame, dinner is served. I'm not hungry. But... <coughs> Perhaps Mademoiselle would care to skip dinner and go straight to dessert. to brush after every meal, not shower. All right, maybe our dinner didn't turn out just as I remember it, but you have to remember that... <coughs> the way we got home! Home! The once around the park, sir. At least you're half right. We did take a carriage ride. A very short carriage ride. Hurry! Don't leave me stuck up here by myself! Uh, I'm trying. Uh, I'm trying. What does this look like? Jogging? So, how do you like it so far? Loading felines on this carriage, not now, not ever! But I don't understand why you have to dress like that. Because this is a rough neighborhood, and you and your grandmother have a better chance of making it home than. Good evening, ladies. Good evening. My grandmother and I were out for a walk and we seem to have gotten lost. Maybe me and the boys could sort of escort you out of this crime-ridden area. We love to help those in distress. Maybe I should take this dress off and tie you in knots. Did you say something, Grandma? She said that would be nice, but we know the way. Deep Clem, he won't get away this time. Fan out! I think the coast is clear. I recited a poem I wrote for the occasion, and then, always the gentleman, I kissed your hand and said, Adieu. Funny, I don't remember any of that. What I do remember is how nervous you were. <coughs> Me, nervous? Why, well, I've never been nervous a day in my life. <coughs> well, 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 well here, 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 here we are. Well, 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 uh, yeah, well. Well, 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 mm. well, 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 maybe I was just a little nervous. But the important thing is that I remembered that tonight was our anniversary. I'm glad you feel that way, Heathcliff. And I'm going to hold you to celebrating our anniversary just like you remember it. Tomorrow night, the actual date of our anniversary. Well, at least I were close. Oh. <laughs> 